Hey everyone, welcome back to Backroads County. So we're in April and it is time to plant some corn. So we are going to get in this new, to us, used white tractor with the dual tires that we just bought. And it's been a pretty good tractor so far. We used it to uh, plant our sunflowers on our other field. So let's go grab our uh, planter. Okay. We'll top this off with some seed and some fertilizer. There we go. I didn't do that very well, did I? Close enough, it'll work. Okay. And we'll just start over here at this end, I guess. Oh, and we did buy some bees. So we, now we got honey coming in. So we just bought that recently. That'll be a really nice uh, income producer added to our farm. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start. So we can start just like this. Okay. And we're planting corn. Yeah, it's been a pretty good tractor so far. And this new Kinsey 3000 planter is doing pretty good too, so no complaints yet. Just wish it was a little bigger, but besides that, no problems. Alright, let's check our animals. I think they should be okay. Chickens are good. Cows are good. Um... They're almost fully grown. These two are pregnant and are going to have calves pretty soon. That's good. And our sheep are still good. Okay. And so this field here, we did do sunflowers on. And this is the one we're doing corn on. And I'm thinking about buying this little field here. So we have 82,000. This field is 45,000. And it is a four and a half acre field. I don't know. Maybe we'll wait on that. I like to get that cornfield right there next to us. Thing was uh, full of corn and it went to waste. How much is that field? I know I look every time, but here we are looking again. It's 415,000. Okay, so I think we're going to have to wait to uh, buy a field. Okay, so we're going to have to get the uh, truck over here with a pallet of seed here pretty soon, too. Keep this thing going. Let's hop over here and get the truck preloaded. And I don't think we'll have to do liquid fertilizer. I think we'll be okay on that. Alright. So we'll hop out. And let's go ahead and turn on our Hercules strength. go. Nobody saw that happen. I didn't see anything. Ok. 
Okay. Alright, so we'll just get over here, up here and wait. Okay. We'll let him do his thing. We'll just sit here and uh, wait for him to be ready. Joys of being the boss. Okay, while we're waiting, we could hop over here into New Holland. And we can go use the new straw blower we got. And put some more bedding down for the cows so we can keep making manure. See if I can do this from in the cab here. All right, where are we at with the forks? Right there. There we go. Okay, so let's go drop this inside here. That's where we want it. That'll work. I think I need to wash my tractor. It's a little dirty. Okay. There we go. It's a good amount of bedding they're getting. Okay. Happy cows. Okay, so they're full, and we got a little straw left in there, but we'll just use it on the next time. So we will park this back over here. we're going to be up. We're ready. So let's go ahead and hop in the truck. Let's take them the seed. Whoa, that thing's slamming. Let me just drop that down. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that going again. And I probably want to keep this truck nearby with the seed in there, because I don't think we're going to be able to finish that field. So, we'll just park this right over here. Until we need it. Okay, so now... Check here. So the animals are still good on food. Chickens are good. Sheep are good. Okay, so we're pretty good. And we owe zero money. 
So we have 82,000. What's for sale? Nothing I need. Okay, well, we'll just keep on uh, planting this field. All right, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, well, one thing I'd like to do today is I'd like to buy a manure spreader. I don't know when one will come on sale. And I'd like to have one for when we're ready to fill it with manure. So let's, let's actually take a look and see what's available. Uh, manure spreaders. A little John Deere for twelve hundred bucks. This one's going to hold fifty-two eighty-five. That's going to be kind of small. Um, six and nineteen. That's a decent size one. That's nine point seven. Um, I'm getting up there in price now. This one's. I don't know, that might be an unrealistic uh, capacity on this one. Looks kind of big, though. 22. We'll set up protective cover. If I say no. Oh, yeah, we want it. I think we should get this one. $15,000. We can afford it. Um, do we want to change the color on it? something kind of make it look a little older maybe hmm we'll try that color there we can do that now nah, we'll just go with the original color why not all right let's get this one Four, and it don't cost more. Hmm. I think we're just gonna get this. Let's do it. Okay. We just bought that. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Um, it's just something I wanted. Something we will need later on. We'll go grab that and we'll just park it for now over there by the manure area. And hopefully I don't hit any uh, deer today on the way. I always seem to hit deer. Okay, here we are. Coming up on the dealership. And we got lucky. We didn't have any deer run out in front of us this time. Okay, so, what else do we need while we're here? I think there's really anything we need at the moment. We are going to need a bucket for our, for our tractor to uh, be able to fill this with manure, I think. Oops, get back up there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty big size there. Bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, that works. Alright, so let's get this back to the farm. And get ready to go reseed the cedar. Or the planter. Okay, here we are, back at the farm. So I think we're going to park this around the, the other side. So let's, let's pull around this way. And I think... 
actually, I honestly, I think with this uh, manure setup, I think we can automatically fill it from here without having to load it with the with the bucket. Let's see. Yep, you just fill it from here. A little unrealistic, but oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ready to uh, go seed the cedar or planter. I keep calling it cedar when it's a planter. And then I'll call the planter a cedar. Okay. Let's see where he's at. Okay, he's about 11%, so we'll fill him right now. We'll let him get set up. Okay. Okay, so we'll stop him right there. That way he's lined up. And then, not a full pallet, so hopefully it'll fill it up enough to where hopefully we don't have to fill him again, but we may have to. If we do, we do. Alright, so there we go. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to fill them again. Only took them to 70. Okay. No biggie. Okay, so let's go ahead and park this for now. Yeah, our farm's coming along pretty good. Oh, it looks like we have another egg pallet we need uh, to move out of the way. Alright, let's see. Okay, so let's go move this egg pallet. That way we can keep spawning. go. And we will set that one right here. Alright, not too bad. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, not a whole lot more we can do. Just keep uh, planting that field. See, grass isn't ready to cut yet. Still growing. We already have a cut on here. I'm just kind of doing a double cut before I start making it, make it into hay. So I's let's work. Okay. Yep. Slowly but surely. Okay, should have one more pass and we should be good on the cornfield. So we got lucky and didn't have to refill it again with seed, so that worked out. Perfect. Okay, so now, after this is done, we'll have both fields planted. Let's see, we're in April, so May. Not much to do, I don't think, in May. We Maybe we'll look into taking out a loan and buying another field. Not sure yet, but in June, we get to sell last year's harvest and we have 31,000 soybeans and 36,000 liters of corn so we'll be selling these in June so that should give us a little bit of a uh, playing money all right and the field is planted all 
Okay, so let's go park this over where it belongs. And we'll just set it right in here. That'll work. And maybe in May we'll wash all our uh, vehicles. Everything's pretty dirty right now. Alright, well. Just a short little video. Alright guys, well thanks for joining me and I will see you on the next one. Bye.